This is the Lace Wallet from Input Output Global just released on the testnet this last week. In this video, we are going to take a look at it. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a way that you can mint a free NFT on the testnet with the Lace Wallet. So stay tuned to the end and we'll get into that. As always, if you're new to the channel, my name is Dawson and we're just going to show you how to install this Lace Wallet on the testnet to show you what it's looking like on the testnet and hopefully what it will look like on the mainnet here in the future. This is the Lace.io website. If you don't know how to get here, if you don't know how to securely find the proper website, one way that I like to do it is I like to go to the uh, Twitter account for these projects and you can come in here, you can see that one thing about this lowercase L here is you wanna make sure it's not an uppercase I, you wanna make sure that it's not a spam account with an uppercase I, but this account is followed by all the proper people in Cardano. So then you can just come here and click on the Lace.io webpage and it will take you to this website right here, lace.io. Now, when we get to this website, you can go ahead and scroll down and check everything out. This is the interactive demo. This is what it's supposed to look like. And there's a bunch of information here, but I'm gonna go ahead and click here in the top right where it says try lace on prepod. Now, what you wanna do is add this to your Chrome extensions and you're gonna have to approve like all of the downloads and the terms and condition. Let me move my face here, but yes. Now this has been in my extensions. You can see it right up here in the top. I have my extensions, I have my Lace and my Nami. When you click on that Lace extension up here in the top right in your Chrome extensions, it'll take you to this page where you have three options, new wallet, hardware wallet, or restore a wallet. Hardware wallet means if you wanna connect like your ledger or treasure to your Lace to do like interactivity with DeFi and Cardano. Restoring a wallet means you're taking like an Eternal, a Typhoon, a Flint wallet, some other type of wallet, a Nami wallet, and restoring it into this Lace wallet. Now this is just pre-prod, it's not mainnet, so I wouldn't do that with any of your mainnet wallets. But in this video, we're just gonna go create a new wallet. You will have to scroll down and accept all these terms of use. You can read them if you want. I'm not particularly going to do that. Accept and next. Now, this is what they're going to take from us. Anonymous analytics. Okay, confirm. I will call test wallet. I will call this Dawson test wallet just because it's a test wallet. And you're gonna have to set up a password. Now my password's set up. Um, uh, hopefully I can remember what it is. I will write it down here in a second and I will write it down on the next part when we get the seed phrase as well. Here, you just wanna to click to the next screen. It's just gonna, it's just explaining in case you're new to wallets, just explaining that you're gonna get a couple screens. We're gonna to have to write down the, the seed phrase and then re-punch it back in. So we can go ahead and click next. Now, here is my seed phrase. This is letters, or I'm sorry, words one through eight out of 24. So it's gonna be a whole process. We're gonna write these down, hit next, write the next down, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna go ahead and write these down. I have this first section of words written down. And obviously, um, Needless to say, I'm gonna delete this wallet after this video. Um, I'm gonna test it out, show it and delete it. So don't ever show anyone your secret passphrase. I'm just doing this for the video. I will make my own Lace wallet with my own seed uh, passphrase, et cetera, that I will write down and not show on camera. But for just the sake of this video, I'm gonna show it on camera and then delete it afterwards. So don't, anyone, don't show anyone this information. Once you write down all 24 words and you have it securely on a piece of paper with your username, uh, like your wallet name, your password, and all 24 words, you can hit this last next button. And now here it will have you input your secret passphrase. I have now filled in all 24 words of my secret passphrase, uh, eight word by eight word by eight word. And now we're gonna go hit the last next button and see where it takes us. Okay, so Lace just created my wallet and it has just like follow us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter. You can do that if you want. I already do follow them, so I'm not going to. I'm going to hit go to my wallet. So this is the Lace wallet layout. Um, you can see we have tokens, NFTs, our transaction, and our staking portal. Super um, simplistic, kind of has all the same things you would expect from a wallet. It looks like it will total us out in US dollars, not ADA, which I kind of personally like because we still... Most, you know, like when you think of things, you denominate it in US dollars still, but I'm sure it'll split it up by Cardano native assets in this section. Same with NFTs, you know, it has kind of like that Instagram layout where it's like showing off your NFTs here in the portal. And then here in the staking section, these are testnet pools. Um, I tried to search up some pools, but these are all testnet pools. So um, that might be why you can't find certain pools. Like I stake to Vital. I don't know if they have a testnet Vital but that's the staking section and you should be able to do that directly in the wallet based on how this looks. Now I'm gonna move my camera over here to the left and here's the other half of the wallet. We have our receive address here. 
right here. We have the ability to send ADA to recipients, and it looks like you can add a bundle to other recipients or other assets, multiple assets. So you can probably, I would assume they'd probably have it to where you could send, um, what is it, uh, Cardano native assets and NFTs in the same transaction. It also looks like you have a, a address book where you can save like, this is my dad, this is my mom, this is my CNFT friend, et cetera, et cetera. So you can save addresses and easily click into them. That's a pretty nice feature. From here, if you want to try and use this with some testnet ADA, what you can do is go to Google, type in testnet ADA. You can click this first link, testnet faucet from docs.cardano.org, and it'll take you to this page where you can read these things on how to use it. But basically how you do it is you go to the pre-prod testnet. That's where uh, Lace currently is. It's on the pre-prod testnet. You want to receive test ADA, and then you can put the address, so my Lace wallet, I want to receive from to this address that is copied. I can put that in here and then I don't really have anything to do with the API key. I'm gonna hit, I'm not a robot and I'm gonna request some funds. So success, transaction successful, let's see. I now have the testnet ADA in my wallet, it's worth uh, about $3,000. It's not real money, so you can't actually do anything with it, but it's about 10,000 T ADA, which is testnet ADA. Now, on Twitter, I saw a NFT that you can mint with your Lace test ADA, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can do that. Up here, I have the link from Subcritical. Let me see if I can find it. Right here. If you are messing with Lace IO pre prod wallet, you can mint a Hosky Kick NFT for fun. Just send 69 T ADA to this address right here. And MKR is helping the minting setup, but this is what we're going to see if we can mint to our Lace wallet with some testnet ADA. What you're going to want to do, I'll put this link in the description below, so if anyone else wants to do it, you can definitely do it. But what you want to do is copy this address. Whoops. Copy this address. Go to Lace. Click on this one. It's behind my head a little bit. Not receive, but you want to go to send. Put it here. T ADA. And it says you want to send 69. T ADA, okay? Review transaction, sending 69 T ADA to this spot with transaction P and confirm. And with my password, whoops, password. I'll confirm that. Now you can see my balance is slightly lowered. I should have a transaction on here. Let's see if this loads. Okay, that took a couple more minutes than I was expecting, but within about five minutes, you can see my transaction went through. I had the 10,000 T ADA, which I received from the Cardano faucet. I then sent 69 T ADA to the address for the Hosky Mint. And then you can see I received back two T ADA for the transaction and one Hosky Kick, and my NFT should be right here. And we have it right here. This is my Hosky Kick 34 policy ID and that's what we just minted. So if you want to go mint a cool little Hosky kick 420 Jordan it looks like, then you can go do that on the Lace wallet. I will definitely put this tweet down in the description with the faucet down in the description so you can go do this yourself if you want. It took a couple more minutes than I was thinking for the, you know, the the transactions to load and NFT to mint. It took like 5 minutes, but it's still really worth it. Really fun thing that you can do on Cardano. Now I will try and see if I can get this to my production wallet. That would be sweet. I don't know if they will let that happen eventually, but you know, we'll see. That's a cool little memento to have. So that's pretty much the Lace wallet on Preprod. I've shown you how you can use it, how you can install it, how you can mint a cool little NFT for fun. As always, if you enjoyed the content, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. If you are on Twitter, crypto Twitter, feel free to hit me with a follow. Send me a DM if you want to talk crypto at all. I'm always open to engaging with others. And you know, if you have any projects that you want me to take a look at, put it in the comments. I will take a look. Other than that, have a great week coming up on Monday and God bless.